what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about the insidious franchise here in this video today going over a scoop that was shared with me from mtd shout out to you you know who you are now we know that insidious 5 is coming later this year but i'm also going to go over the future of the insidious franchise here in this video so the conclusion to the lambert family is coming later this summer in july with insidious the red door patrick wilson is making his directorial debut and reuniting with his lambert family counterparts dalton we know will be away at school in college and their past demons from the further come back to haunt them both including the lipstick face demon now this exclusive first image was revealed by fandango not too long ago and i'm excited to see what happens in the upcoming fifth entry but here's something that probably will be the first time you've heard about it because i put out a tweet to let you guys know this video will be coming the sixth entry is already apparently written it's gonna start shooting later this year and it's already got two huge cast members a part of it now this currently is titled thread an insidious tale it's a film that will be joining the growing insidious franchise sometime in the future i don't know when it's going to come out but more or less we already again have a six entry in the insidious franchise that appears to be on the way the film is again is set to shoot in canada later this year in august a recent casting call dates it for may as a posting for it so i'm guessing the writer strike will not impact this shoot here's a brief plot synopsis for what i'm going to call insidious six for now with the help of a mysterious stranger, a couple reeling from the loss of their daughter Zoe journeys into the terrifying realm known as the Further in a desperate attempt to change the past and save their family. Now here's some info about Zoe coming from this casting call. They're looking for someone who is 7 to 11 years old or around that age group, somebody who can play, pass that off. She is of mixed race, the daughter of other two characters here, Nick and Maddie. Uh, and I'm going to reveal those actors next, reveal who's playing Nick and Maddie. So Zoe is the kind of radiant, delightful kid who sings all day in the back seat. Zoe is a joy, the daughter of Nick and Maddie. She's a cheerful bundle of energy who likes to make sure the squirrels are well fed. While her parents unpack for their weekend trip at the cabin inside, Zoe suffers a tragic drowning accident while exploring in the backyard. Afterwards, her parents risk anything and everything to change the past and bring their family together again. Now, I would assume that there's some sort of time travel that's going to factor into Insidious 6. Now, here's who is playing Nick and Maddie. Nick and Maddie will be played by Mandy Moore and Kumal Ninjani. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Ninjani? Uh, Mandy Moore being a part of the Insidious franchise? Can't wait to see how that plays out. Now, again, if I'm wrong about this, then I'm just wrong. However, I'm going to leave a link to something in the description for you guys that backs up that this is part of the growing Insidious universe because of the fact that it has Blumhouse attached to it. It has Atomic Monster attached to it. It has Sony attached to it. All of the core players are part of the Insidious franchise. And again, it's currently titled Thread and Insidious Tale. It doesn't specify who this person is helping them, but I'm starting to wonder, is it somebody from the events of Insidious 5 that's going to transfer over into what I guess you consider one of one of our first major Insidious spinoffs? Well, I guess... We've had spinoffs in a way, if you want to count three and four spinoffs. They're not really spinoffs. But this would be our first official attempt to kind of do what the Conjuring universe is doing. Because it's still a part of the Insidious realm when you're diving into the place known as the Further once again. But we'll see how this all goes down when this film starts shooting out in August later this year. Again, it would appear that Insidious 6 is already ready to go it's going to start shooting in august out in canada mandy moore is a part of the project you guys let me know again what you think about this down in the comment section below how do you think insidious 5 could factor into the events of insidious 6 if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video